guys I'm back I hope you're doing great it's still Saturday I'm doing another recipe uh, today I'm gonna be doing the impossible pumpkin pie and this pie uh, doesn't have a crust so I've already added my pumpkin puree to the uh, food processor and make sure you don't get pumpkin pie filling make sure it says uh, pumpkin puree or 100% pumpkin. So like I say, I've already added that and I've added two room temperature eggs. Next, I'm going to add one cup of evaporated milk. I just took the milk out of the can. Uh, one half cup of self-rising flour. If you use all-purpose flour, you will have to add baking powder and baking soda. Three-fourths cup of sugar. Also, I have, have two tablespoons of butter. I'm going to add two teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice. And I'm going to add some vanilla, butter, and nut flavoring. But you can just add plain vanilla. And I'm going to add a teaspoon of that to my mixture. And that's it. Also, this is a, a quick recipe. If you just have everything together. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to Cut it on for maybe about 10 seconds. I just want to make sure everything is incorporated. Okay. So everything here is mixed together real well. All thing that I do not is just have a grease pan. I'm gonna put it in. I've already cut my oven on 350. I'm gonna let it bake for about 55 minutes. So just hold on. So I'm gonna take this off. taking the blade out I'm using a very thin pan so I'm just gonna spray this pan lightly I'm gonna use do one of my old tricks <laughs> I have some coffee filters and because I want to be able to take it out the pan, I'm just gonna put some of those in the bottom. About three. Make sure I cover the bottom real good. I'm gonna spray this. Cause I want to be able to take this out. Okay, so. Now I'm just gonna pour this in the pan. And like I said, it's a real easy recipe, very quick. Just have to have your ingredients together. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna put this in the oven. Like I say, 50 to 55 minutes. And I'll come back and let's see what it looks like. So I'm back with this impossible pumpkin pie. It said 50 to 55 minutes, but I let it bake an hour. And if you look at it, it's uh it started pulling away from the pan. Probably was before I took it out the oven. But this is uh, the results of this pie, and it sets up real good. So, 
I just want to um, let you see how it came out. Smells good. So if you like pumpkin, you can uh, try this recipe. All right, guys, so I'm back. Uh, my pie has cooled some. I'm going to attempt to take it out of the pan. I'm gonna put this on top. Hopefully, it comes out good. I'm gonna flip this over. I put the plate up under it too. I said I better do that so I have more leverage. <laughs> I have it on the plate, so I'm gonna lift this up. Remember, I use the uh, coffee filters. Okay, so just gonna take the coffee filters off. And I have one more. It came out good. Now I'm gonna try to flip it back over on another plate, so hold on. Okay, so I'm back. There it is. I finally got it on the plate. All right, guys, so I'm back. I cut the Impossible Pumpkin Pie. Uh, this is a slice of the pie. That's how it looks. It smells good. And I really hope that you try this pie. Uh, whenever you get time, like I say, uh, you can cook it for the holidays or just when you want something with pumpkin in it. And uh, I just want to thank you all for watching this video. Don't forget to comment, share, like, and subscribe. And I really hope to see you in the next video. Thank you guys. Have a great holiday.